Okay. okay. Yep. Give me a beat. <laughs> Whitehead, <laughs> get off my face. <laughs> I do not want <laughs> you there. <laughs> You're a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kat. I am a nurse practitioner here at Curology. And I'm Nicole. I'm a physician assistant here at Curology. And today we're going to be talking about one of my all time favorite topics whiteheads and blackheads. Because mm. I just feel like everyone has questions about these topics. We get asked about them all the time. It's certainly just do. kind of a universal experience. And what if I told you <laughs> and you that whiteheads and blackheads are actually pretty similar and the main thing separating them is just a very thin layer of skin. <gasps> Mind blown. Mind blown. Mind blown. With blackheads, we don't have that layer of skin over that pore. So what happens is all the things that are trapped in that pore, so sebum, which is also known as oil, dead skin cells are in there. And since we don't have that layer of skin over top, it gets exposed to oxygen. And then, yep. yeah, and this is, it's kind of like a fun, cool science experiment, except not cool on your face. So that air, it oxidizes everything in that pore. That's why it turns black. Yep. Yep. Whereas with whiteheads, you do have that thin layer of skin over mm -hmm. top. And so that's why they appear to be like yellow or white in appearance. Yeah, it's the normal color of kind of the oil and dead skin cells mixing together is that yellowy whitish color that yep. you see with whiteheads. Mm -hmm. And whiteheads and blackheads are both types of non-inflammatory acne, they're clogged pores. You can actually treat whiteheads and blackheads pretty similarly. Mm -hmm. I know one of my go-tos for patients, I usually recommend products with salicylic acid that's good or one. BHA, that's really good for unclogging pores, mm -hmm. like the whiteheads and the blackheads, it can help treat existing breakouts or help prevent new ones. Definitely. So like cleansers, wipes with salicylic Salicylic acid, all good stuff. Mm -hmm. Another ingredient I tell them to look for is benzoyl peroxide. That's another great pore unclogger. The one thing with benzoyl peroxide, though, to keep in mind is it can bleach like your sheets or your clothes or your pillowcases. Just something to keep in mind. Make sure you really get the cleanser off if you're using a benzoyl peroxide product. Yeah. Um, prescription topicals can also be really great. Two of the ingredients that we love to prescribe very often at Curology are tretinoin and azelaic acid. Yeah. Those are really great kind of pore uncloggers. So yeah, they're we great love them. at unclogging pores and keeping pores unclogged. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would, I would talk to either a provider at Curology um, or an in-person medical provider, but there are lots of options, so don't fret. So I hope that we help to uh, clarify the difference between whiteheads and blackheads. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave that in that comment box below. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.